Hello, I'm Brian Stewart Lee. This morning has been quite productive, with regional blocks having begun working papers. Let's get right to our coverage. One of the major themes has been how cultural norms must be integrated into the framework of health initiatives. For more on this, we go to our Al Jazeera correspondent. Contraception is a controversial issue among many religious communities. I'm here with the delegate from Kuwait. Does your country support the use of contraception? Despite um, the Muslim views of Kuwait, the contraceptive use has actually been quite high in Kuwait. There has been 53% uh, of women shown to have access to uh, contraceptive and has been in use. And gov the government actually supports contraceptive by providing IUDs for free at government clinics. Are those who believe in abstinence a barrier to the general health of Mexico? I believe that they're not because I, although this is in Catholic doctrine, depending on how it is interpreted, the majority of people in, I would argue, almost any faith don't follow doctrine word for word. I'm here with the only NGO at the conference, Save the Mothers. How does Save the Mothers get uh, the faithful individuals, the faithful mothers, to, um, to use contraception? So this is probably um, clearly one of their biggest problems because so many religions around the world um, do not believe in contraceptives. Specifically one is Christianity. Um, but I think what's uh, good about the program in Uganda is that they go in with religious views, the same, uh, almost the same views as the ones in Uganda, and they still are promoting it. I'm Joel Balsam, reporting for Al Jazeera. Thanks, Joel. For more on this topic, we go to our SABC correspondent. Hello, I'm Nathaniel Feinstone, representing uh, the South African Broadcasting Corporation. Family planning and contraception is, while it's so controversial when it comes to religious, the religious aspects behind it, I think we need to, as delegates, move beyond that. Is there an existing framework to integrate women's rights into a patriarchal society? I think it's women's rights in a different context. I think um, keeping in mind the cultural norms, keeping in mind um, the social norms, it's important to recognize that women's rights doesn't have to have the same face in every country. As long as women are safe, as long as women are healthy, as long as women feel that their place in their world and in their family is respected, that's women's rights to me. Remember to follow Monhu Media on Twitter. A developing story is on cooperation on rural health initiatives in the Asian and American blocs. Hi Brian. As the plenary quickly approaches, delegates are working hard on their resolutions. Some of the main themes in all the regional blocs have been vaccination campaigns, sensitive to cultural norms, and rural initiatives. Let's take a look at what some of the delegates have to say. Uh, there's been a big focus on communitarian programs, so I'm hoping that we break these down further into specific programs and recommendations and then when we bring it forward it, this will, could be something that will be maybe incorporated into any resolution. Okay. It's uh, really difficult for me to comment on the Western Bloc because the United States is not present at these meetings however um, th thus far in our meetings so far we have been talking about community-based initiatives and working with the community to be uh, to implement culturally sensitive policies because um, for example introducing vaccine universal vaccine program would be unplausible because some cultures actually perceive vaccines as a threat to their in their culture and their perception of health. Um, currently we believe that uh, a lot of the issues that we're having have not been addressed. Um, there's the issue of the fact that a lot of our, a large portion of our population is living in rural regions and so um, they're having troubles, have a barrier to access um, and antenatal clinics and there haven't been uh, uh, midwifery schools, for example, being built, and we could really use fundraising to implement these various programs. Many of our countries are have a large population living in rural areas, and we really are searching to find ways to bridge the services available in urban areas to women and children in rural areas, and sharing the technologies available, especially in obstetrics. Okay. As there hasn't been a plenary yet, it is hard for delegates to know what other regional blocks are working towards. So far, it all seems like they're on the right track. Back to you, Brian. We go now to a story about a plan by Western nations to give funding based on progressive values, which has been met with criticism from other regions. Canada, as well as other countries in North America and Europe, 
have suggested increasing aid to countries with more progressive policies towards women. The BBC spoke with the Canadian delegate this morning. I would like to see, first of all, Canada would love to increase its foreign aid there. However, we also need more security and transparency in that the money we give will actually go to the women. And we know that in these countries, males are the dominating figures in the political scene, in the community scene, um, and you know, giving money to these communities, well, they might end up in the pockets of males as opposed to the females who actually deserve the money. From what you're saying, I'm guessing that uh, a country's policies towards rights of women will affect the amount of aid that Canada gives them. Um, I would say so, because just simply because there's less, I would suspect that there might be less of a result from our foreign aid. If, mm -hmm. we, if we donate to a country where we know that women are valued and we know that the funds that we give them are going to the women, then I think that would be completely fine. The delegate from Sierra Leone thinks the countries in developed nations need to be more sympathetic. Is the countries actually in the African bloc um, have found it almost frustrating um, the fact that northern and you know northwestern countries are imposing um, their views on abortion um, upon these African countries. We are making steps. You know we are developing um, in terms of our strategies. Um, yes, it is condescending, but yes, we do need the funding. We would appreciate more sensitivity to our condition. I think for I think for many Western countries, Pakistan is a key player in in many military initiatives and many conflict related initi initiatives and so uh, not much attention is being given to other areas of the country that do need improvement. But you think that the that Canada for example would be correct in saying that uh, countries like Pakistan have less um, less aid arrives to women it's disproportionate in that sense. Would you agree with that? Yes we would agree that this is the case but we are taking concrete steps to improve a, that situation to bring equitable access to health care. Michael Bremen at Wilcock, BBC Health, Montreal. That's all for now, and remember to keep checking the website for the latest news and commentary.